Okay. I think we're good. Now, I'm going to have to just start the GameCube. When we were trying to do composite games, like oh, F-Zero, remember? I had to just ab outright abandon that one day. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but ever since then... Okay, so... Let's get these guys back on. On Skype, you're not going to hear them until you're in the call. Yeah, I should take long, though. Hello. We back. Hello. Yeah, we're uh, we're online. Hey. All right. <clears throat> and this is going to be a little bit of a weird setup, I think. But we'll. Uh, we'll uh oh, what happened to? Okay, it's just loading the Elgato. I hear it. Where's the remote, Jack? Get the remote. Thank you. Thank you. I just it pointed. I just Wait. pointed. By the way, that's all I. Did. That's all I did. <laughs> Alright, so they can see it, and I'm going to have to set up Skype so that you guys can see it, too. Oh god, it's very loud. How do I mute one person again? Again? Just the one? What? Oh, that you can in Trender. Skype. Trender. Is it, like, a lot louder than we are, our voices? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Alright. It's, it's, it's getting right. louder. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, the music's getting more epic. Da, da, da. And it's going to be about like a little over a second off for you guys. There's not going to be any helping. That. <laughs> that's, that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You can watch. It's the, okay. Uh, you can watch the. Uh, you can watch the other version. You can watch YouTube. the other version on YouTube. That's true. Yeah. It, it'll, it'll be synced then. It'll be synced then. <laughs> okay, so that's going to come through. We're hearing you guys. Jack, are you in the call yeah, on Skype? Yeah, I am. So you're just hearing yourself twice, is all. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Or rather just the once. Or rather just the once. All right. I can see your uh, recording software. Yeah, I, I can't minimize it. Oh, so wait, it's I only probably, oh, wait, I should probably... Okay. There we go. So you're, you're just going to have to deal with it. I just muted myself. Okay. So that may help. So... Now you should be able to hear us. I think we got yeah. some backstory that I didn't read. Uh, yeah, for, pe for people who missed it in the first stream. Ah. So I hope you guys used uh, no one but Flurry because Flurry's the best. Yeah. <laughs> I was I posted the Paper Mario highlights on Reddit, and generally people liked them. One guy was disappointed that I did not use Sassy Black Flurry in this game for her voice. Uh, do you post it to the but Paper Mario Reddit? But we've been at this a while. Yeah, there's a Paper Mario subreddit. Why was oh, there I just subreddit? discovered it yesterday. Ah. Wah! Oh, good, dude. We're Luigi. We're Waluigi now. Mm. So we've we've come a ways. We just fi we finished Chapter 7, The Moon. Oh. And we promised the Shadow Temple next time, but we forgot of a previous promise we made. Uh... That we yeah. were gonna do the pit before the Shadow Temple. Oh, so we're doing it. We you are. We're doing a five life only run. Danger Mario. It's actually really broken. Yeah. Just watch. This is the only way that we can probably do the pit before, you know, after beating the game. Uh, do you have Miss Mouse yet? Dried Shroom. Yeah, yeah we, do. we do. I forgot. When can you unlock Miss Mouse again? Is it Chapter 6 or 5? I think you can. I think you can get her just after, as soon as you have Bobbery. Are you gonna hit? So after you beat five. Gonna hang ah. yourself, Mario? 
I, yeah, the, now that, that you mention that. That's surprisingly dark. It is for a Mario it game. It is. There's a like, fucking honestly, noose yeah. that you can clip through. By the way, how the fuck how do you hang a, do you a hang paper Goomba? Person? <laughs> I, exactly, Goomba's all head. Like, they're... Their their body would just dangle <laughs> weightlessly. Oh god, I don't want that image in my head. A lot of Mario races are just heads with limbs. Yeah. So is there anything you think we need to get before we jump in, or what what are our items like? Well, Luigi a smoker. He seems a little short on breath. We got amazing food by Zesty. We got a life shroom. Some booze. Let let's let's pull out all our life shrooms. Trial stew. It's amazing food. <laughs> but they gotta make it on timeline. Or something. I've been doing some just various things, like filling out recipes and such. Yeah. How do you make, how do you make a golden leaf? Uh, you find that at Creepy Steeple. Oh, okay. That's why I stocked up on, like, five of them, so I never have to go the fuck back to that place. Life shroom. Uh, I think that's all we really need. Sleepy sheep! Dizzy Dial's useless. Oh yeah, it is. Ah! We've got the Toru badge. This game definitely brings back memories. Yeah. I've not played this for a long time. <laughs> oh man, the memories. I remember renting Paper Mario from Blockbuster. Like, Five times before I beat it. Please, please, Hollywood video. <laughs> it was at a blockbuster. Mine, I got mine from Hollywood. That's where I rented my Paper Mario 64. People always talked about Hollywood video, and I always assumed that was a myth. Yeah, like the what, you they were talking about a store franchise that didn't exist. You didn't this have any in your a kid, area? By the way. No. Ah, I don't think we had any blockbusters. I did know that blockbuster was more expensive than Hollywood video. I have Is no it? plan if we die, by the way. That's like, if we get to floor 90 and something actually hits us and kills us... We have to start from the very beginning? I guess that's the stream. <laughs> this is gonna be exciting. Right, so it's a speed run. Ready? I haven't eaten lunch yet. What time is it? It's 12.43. We'll be nice and hungry for teriyaki. Yeah. It's okay. As long as you keep yourself distracted by video games, you don't have to eat. That's how it works. I love the bit of a hundred dollars music. I love um Super Paper Mario. I kind of like, but oh my god! Yeah, yeah right? Paper Mario. What you do is you make it so that you only ever have five health, and yet then you just stock up on a ton of the the danger badges at the Pianta Parlor. So we've got like twenty of the badges on that give you extra attack power when you're at five or less. <laughs> That's how Danger Mario Seriously, works. Like, the best pit of a hundred shows music is the one in uh, Super Paper Mario. Oh yeah, I, I don't remember much of that I don't, game. I, I remember I did, I did both of the pits. In Looking that game. back on it, I, at first I wasn't a big fan of it, but like now that we have Sticker Star and Color Splash, this is a little bit better. Super Paper Mario is definitely pretty good. Not as good as the first two, but yeah. It's better than the uh, other Paper Marios we got. I just I hesitate to call it a Paper yeah. Mario game because it's it's, it's oh, platform. Oh, have you tried Color Splash yet? I have not, not yet. We haven't even seen any footage of it. It's not terrible. It's not like good, but it's not terrible. I liked it. So we've got a bunch of power rushes that give us two extra attack power. We've got two last stands. That's always able to find. So damage is reduced by half. So a quarter twice. Yeah. I never knew you could. I think it actually works. So I never a knew you could stack badges. Oh. Yeah, in the first game you can't because there's a finite yeah. number. But in this game, you can get infinite badges off enemies, and then bunch of sometimes miss. So RNG. We shouldn't. Most cases we should get missed completely. On the very rare instance we get hit, damage will be cut to a third. I think. I think I did the research and how it works is that if you have one of the badges on, you get damage cuts in half. If you have two, it's cut in a third, three is a fourth, and so on. Also, with the amount of damage we're dealing, multi-bounce is very useful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and we also have HP drain and flower point drain, so that every time we attack, we get one hit point and one flower point. So we're net zero. 
We can use multi multi bounce every battle and never run out. I don't know if you want to spoil this for the stream or not, but I forgot what do you get at the end of the Pit of Hundred Trials? Uh, that's a secret. Ooh. We'll have to get. That's the that's the point of treasure hunting. We gotta get the, get down there and oh, find God. out what's there. We don't know. Guess we'll have to figure it out. Look! Oh my God. Nice try, you asshole! Think this, uh, being a GameCube game makes me remember the Knuckles treasure hunting in Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Oh god. I never. I, a lot of people hated that. I didn't hate it. I liked that. It was. That's my. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it was okay. A it was a 2.5 out of 5 star gameplay, I would say. <laughs> looking back on it. Strictly ad. Foggy! I used to like Sonic Adventure 2 more, but looking back on it, I think I like Sonic Adventure 1 more. Is this a lot? Really? I don't know. Because I've been back on it, like Sonic Adventure 2, like the mechs, uh, like the Tails and Eggman sequences were okay, and the Knuckles Rouge sequences were okay. I, I don't know. Yeah. As opposed to the fabulous fr uh, Big the Cat Doggy. sequences. I remember in Sonic Adventure uh, 1. I beat Chaos 6 uh, within two seconds as big ones. Like. <laughs> Because it wasn't a fight! <laughs> yeah. You just threw your fishing rod at him! And then, actually, I, I <laughs> like the Amy sequences. <laughs> chaos two seconds. Well, Big's a Clearly. giant fluffy cat. That makes him the strongest Sonic character, because he had the shortest boss fight. Yeah, I like the Amy sequences. Um, with Zero. We're talking about Sonic oh, in a Mario exactly. stream! Remember when we played Sonic and talked about Mario? <laughs> Oh, right, this guy oh, yeah. sends us down levels for coins. Oh, yeah, that's right, I got popcorn. Yeah, One you second. do. <laughs> Alright, better tile on you. The Come punies here. really haven't returned in any oh, other oh, Mario game. Oh, there's pit exclusive enemies, yeah? The punies the what? The punies haven't really returned. The, there's pit exclusive... What? The punies haven't returned. Uh, they more. haven't returned in any game at all, I don't think. Not since this and game. I, a I, lot I don't of enemies remember really haven't returned. Well, not enemies, but a lot of play like things haven't returned from this game. Yeah, there are. There's a lot of Mario stuff, but there's also you know original content, the Spanias, Spunias, and Punies, things like yeah. that. I think it strikes a good balance, Honestly. as opposed to I've said this before about the Mario and Luigi games. And though at least in Superstar Saga, everything was new. Like. You didn't see a lot of Goombas or Koopas walking around. It didn't feel like a Mario I game. I like 64 more. I just, just 64 beats a thousand year door just by a small bit. And I think that's because there's a lot of familiarity with Paper Mario 64. Like you're exploring the Mushroom Kingdom. And no, I, I understand that. I feel the same way. Super Mario RPG is kind of half and half. Yeah. yeah. I'm always surprised that Then again, that is just the Mario universe I... through Square Enix's eyes, so... I mean, Mar Superstar Saga had Mario enemies, like you encountered Pokies as wild encounters and things like that, but... They weren't, you know, they weren't NPCs, you didn't go and talk to Goombas. And I don't think it- I don't think it took place in the Mushroom Kingdom. Superstar Saga. No, they like travel to another kingdom or something. Or something like that. Is Murloc still here or did he bug off? I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> oh, okay. Murloc, what consoles did you own as a kid? Did you have a GameCube? I had an Xbox and I played uh, Destroy All Humans a lot. <laughs> I played a lot of Halo. Sweet. Uh, that was fun. Yeah, yeah I was played, a Nintendo kid. I played mostly uh, PC games to be honest. It was a, <laughs> it was a different era, Jack. I we're the old ones. Oh no, I'm older than Bacon. Era. Yeah, I'm, yeah. He's he's a hipster. <laughs> but I mean, we're both in our twenties, though. Yeah, I'm I mean, almost. I'm nineteen. I'm. Yeah. I mean. Oh, but you're a millennial. Technically, you're a millennial. Do we count as millennials? Yeah. Late 90s, so. mid early 90s? Yeah, we're totally millennials. They keep on bumping up the millennials. At first, it was just people born in 2000, then it, they changed to the 90s, and then now. Millennial just means person I don't like because I'm old. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Pretty much so. Uh, just so. No, no. I grew up with a GameCube, and I remember my favorite games were just Double Dash, and I remember I was so sad because my. Um, 
little like six year old me loved to unlock stuff in games, so I would always like take off my memory card, not delete my save file, but just take it off so I could uh, re-unlock the cards and characters. And my stepfather once took that as me. Uh, it, it, oh it no! Someone beat file. us here. <gasps> well, shit. Guess we have to go deeper. <laughs> Wait, what'd you get? I actually, uh, there is a trouble center job that needs you to go down to like floor twenty or something. <laughs> Or floor 16, maybe. So I did already do that. So we are short, like, one prize. Okay. We got one treasure chest early. I forgot to tattle on it, and then I panicked. What was the treasure? Ah, uh, fuck if I remember. Ah! Probably, like, a power plus or something. Yeah, I think it is a badge. Okay. Actually, I, I can just look this up right now. If you want. No, I, uh... I grew- I was at the age where I grew up at the time of N64 and PlayStation, but, uh, I was poor, uh, so I grew up with an NES. Right. That's my story. Oh. I, I had a Sega Genesis when I was really- So, old. you get the Sleepy Stomp. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, nothing great. Okay. I think you can actually just buy that. Yeah, anyway. spoil it. What are you doing? No, no, the Sleepy what? Stomp is not the ultimate prize. Oh, okay, never mind. No, that was the... You get a prize every ten floors. Right. That empty treasure chest was the floor ten prize. Ah, I, I see. What an amazing prize. An empty chest. Your timing skills have it's full. way better. Full of disappointment. Have they? I think it... We give you the blackest, most brutal birthday gift at all of all. I think that... No. NOTHING! Another thing that I think 64 trumps uh, Thousand Year Door in is I think... I like the 64 bosses more. Like, I, I like Tubba Blubba, uh, Tootin Koop. I think they have more personality. I guess, uh, yeah. Crystal Spring. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't take much to have more personality than uh, Lord Crump. But le oh, yeah, definitely, Crump? yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lord Crump, he likes the party. Oh wait, Crunk. I remember when. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Crump. When I, I don't know. I, th I think they're when pretty I first... even. I like. I would not list Crystal King as having no. personality myself. Because he's one of those bosses that just appears. You, you have no prior mention of him, and he just appears at the end. Same with Puff and Puff, essentially. Right. Yeah. Actually, that kind of makes you think. Like the last few bosses of that game, I, I wonder if they were rushed because a lot of the prior bosses they felt too like Tutan Koopa, Tubba Blubba. Oh, they had a lot of hello. exposition. Well, that's an HP plus. We don't really need it, but it doesn't hurt. You know who had personality in this game? What? Cortez. Oh yeah. Cortez was Flavio. a great boss. <laughs> you guys should have done the Flavio glitch, so Hugh could always be. I considered it. It takes some setup, though. Oh, I have a- I think I have quick chapter. Oh, so, uh... But I think the best chapter in all the Paper Mario games is definitely the Glitzville chapter in this game. This is how you knock winged enemies down as Danger Mario without killing them. <laughs> Just send your lackey to do it. Okay, what were you saying, baby? I think the best chapter across all Paper Mario games has to be chapter 4 in this game, the Glitzville. Actually, chapter, chapter 3. That's chapter 3, but it, yeah. yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. As a wrestling fan, yeah, it's my chapter. Any anything with a tournament arc is amazing. That's what makes anime is great. That's what made Dragon Ball great. Yu Yu Hakusho was great. Just a but a tournament where a bunch of people get together and kick ass with weird powers. Oh, you love New Japan. They do that all the time. Eh. They got like four tournaments a year. Eh. I want that. I'm gonna kiss you until you give it to me. Miss. Oh no, you got it. Bonk. The Thousand Year Door. I guess we might have. Uh, I was just gonna say, definitely battle system Thousand Year Door wins. Like the partner system is just so much better in this game now that they have their own health instead of oh, just yeah. being in disabled. In terms of gameplay, Thousand Year Door took everything the first one did and just improved yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Except for Spin Dash, I miss oh, Spin yeah. Dash. Other than that, though, it's just. The, o the only thing I would say one has over two is, you know, the world building by a, a little bit. And that's just more a matter of nostalgia than yeah. actual criticism. I, I miss the piggies. Really? <laughs> that was your favorite no. part of the game? <laughs> yeah. 
There, you can have like a pink five part of the game is that 64 fake that gave you a bunch of rare stuff. My favorite part of the game is like the the fake out in like the Twilight Town. Oh, you're talking about Thousand Year Door. Yeah. Oh, my favorite part of the first. Oh, game. Vivian's <laughs> definitely my favorite partner. So that chap. Uh, I don't like that chapter, but I like Vivian. So. You do know that she was a human yeah. Japanese, right? Same with Mono. Probably my favorite part was when we got that. Got ambushed by those three anti guys. Oh, yeah. That almost fucked us. <laughs> Hello, Wolf Fang. Good to have you with us. Actually, think about it. It was the one time where they said, This is a fate that'll, that'll really doom you. And it, that was actually right. Yeah, it wasn't just some, like, sissy clefts or something. I, I'd be saying my statement of saying 64 had better bosses, because think about it, a thousand year door, like, it did have a lot of- Okay, people. let's go through, let's go through the bosses. In Paper Mario 1, we had the Koopa Brothers. Yeah. We had Tootin Koopa. We had Tubba Blubba. We had General Guy and the Shy Guy Army. Yeah. Chapter 5 was the Lava Piranha. Yeah. Then we had Huff and Puff, Crystal, uh, King. Crystal King, and then Yeah, Bowser. like, after, like, bef like right before, like, I would say Lava Piranha, after that, they just kind of forget it. Like, they just kind of rush bosses, I feel. Well, shit, we're out of, uh, we're out of endearing enemies. Uh, Paper Mario 2, we had Hooktail, the dragon. We had oh, yeah, that's Lord great. Crump and his giant mech. Chapter 3 was Rock Hawk and then Grubba. Rock Hawk? Chap. Yeah, Rock. Yeah. He's a Hulk, Hulk, Hulk Hogan, Hogan parody, okay. but he's a bird. Okay. He's Slash Rock Hawk. Ah, 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 I understand. He was the, the boss, quote unquote, of the wrestling chapter, one of them. Uh, chapter 4, Twilight Town, there was Dupless. Yep. Who wasn't much of a fighting boss, no. as much as he was a, Just a tedium yeah. and pain boss. What was a boss. boss, if anything? Like, he was just kind of... Uh, chapter 5 was Cortez. Then 6 was... Uh, the, the train. Yeah, the, uh, Oh, that... no, no, uh... Oh, yeah, the giant... The smorg. I, I love the smorg. That was a weak boss. I love the train. The train... Yeah. That, I didn't think that was very interesting. I love, like, the mystery chapters of both games, uh, chapter 7 and then chapter 6 in this one. Oh, really? You like penguin yeah, shenanigans? Yeah, I, like, I love the penguin shenanigans. I fuck the penguins. <laughs> I fuck the penguin. It, the penguins are assholes in Yu-Gi-Oh, and they're assholes in Paper Mario. Fucking hated that final chapter. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Canadian penguin fucks. And chapter then we had Magnus von Grapple 2.0, oh, yeah. which was Crump and his m robot again. And that's always boring when they I was gonna say, boss, uh, but... when we were first talking about Crump, that made me remember, like, uh, do you know that first scene in the game where he appears with three x knots behind him? Like, um, as you... And you thought it was a human Yeah, centipede. I did, yeah. <laughs> you know, the little kid. <laughs> you, mentioned, you mentioned this, and I think I mentioned you are mentioning it in the first uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door <laughs> stream. <laughs> I I know I I oh, shut no, up the game. Oh no, we went down to twenty before. Yeah, I never. What was in that one? Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, bacon. Yeah. Uh, the fire drive. Okay. Oh, that's pretty useful. I, we've never used it once. Jack this just. Danger Mario. Jack just trying to be positive. <laughs> yeah, I, thinking about it, I'd agree that first game's bosses were better. The weak ones in this game, I don't think the smorg was very interesting. Yeah. Any, like, any mindless threat is never interesting. Well, if you're fighting nature, or if you're fighting just a swarm of mindless animals, it's never as fun as, like, a well, malicious I feel villain. like the good... Then why are you saying the first game's bosses were better? Because the first game's bosses were people with personalities. And... But well, not, like, the last These games three. aren't? This game isn't? I, was t I talked about the smorg, the giant colossal thing on the train. Well, oh, that's what I was see, referring I think to. What, okay, that what makes, makes the boss good in these games are like the ones that appear throughout the entire chapter. Like, like uh, Macho Grubber yeah, in this game, uh, game. Like he was in the entirety of chapter four. Like he was a constant like presence. Same with like uh, Tubba Blubba and Tuta and Koopa. The boss. Yeah. Rockhawk had the fucking crystal. Star. No, yeah, and then like the bad bosses like. And... Uh, the Lava Piranha, Crystal King, and the Smorg only appear at the well, end. Like, there's no previous Lava mention. Piranha, at, 
Lava Prana, at least, you had his minions coming up and saying, Mario's approaching, da da da. And the same with General Guy. Oh, yeah. Huff and Puff, I guess he was kind of sort of mentioned a little bit. Crystal King just got no mention oh, yeah, whatsoever. He's, he's he kind came of out an of odd nowhere. boss. <laughs> I, I love him. Like, I like the music, but no, there's nothing about it. Yeah, he did it! See, <laughs> and he doesn't really have anything to do with the Dupla Ghosts either, which were kind of the main lackeys of the Crystal Palace. Seeing these boos, like, it always made me wish, like, if we had another Paper Mario game, like, what type of partners would be in it? Like, I would love for a Boo partner, or, or definitely a Magic Cooper partner would be so... Like, Bo? Oh. God damn it, I forgot. <laughs> She's my favorite one too, I love her in uh, 64. But definitely- Uh, there is- It hasn't been finished yet, but there's a Paper Mario fan game that's supposed to be really good in the works. Epic Paper oh, Mario. Yeah. Uh, and I know that has a Toad- a Toad Girl party oh, yeah, member. She should... It has like a, a beetle, a buzzy beetle. It tries to be unconventional. It introduces party members that we haven't yeah, seen in the previous games. There should games. definitely be a Magic Cooper partner, just like buffing the Mario. <laughs> we have the white mage from Paper Mario 1 join us. The one who didn't want to be a white mage just wanted to hit <laughs> stuff with that his cane. One. God. That would be great character art. Well, I remember, like, we ran white into, mage that just likes to We fight. ran into that in Paper Mario 1. There was a white Magic Koopa that never healed anything. Every turn it would just come up and whack us for, like, one damage. <laughs> Well, I, I know in the Sticker Star beta before Miyamoto uh, had them rewrite everything, essentially. There was, a, like, uh, supposed to be a Chain Chomp partner, there was supposed to be a Buzzy Beetle, Beetle partner, and I think a Magic Cooper partner. Or that was probably my biggest disappointment about Super Paper Mario, was the lack of partners. You just had those pixel things that had no personality. They were basically objects. Yeah, it's like an off. Off the main character is the batter. And like his all of his literary was like party members are just circles. Yeah. Literally just circles. And I'm like And it fits for the theme of the game, not for Mario. Mario's all about like the colorful characters. Well, don't quote me on this, but if I was if I remember correctly, I'm reading the cutting room floor now, but I think the uh, partners from sixty four was supposed to come back in Thousand Year Door with a much bigger plot, but I don't know if they were plot involved. I know they have sprites in the game. Yeah. Oh yeah. All of them do, but only two appear, which is um. Paracarian. Yeah. I think I, there may. Have... No, I think you're right. That's it. Why is your? Uh, why, why is your idle animation just you being completely out of breath? Uh, because he Cause because I have five hit points. Oh, okay. That is automatic when you have five or less, no matter what your maximum is. See, so just get asthma. Nice. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> this is the asthma badge. We actually we should uh we've been Waluigi for a while. We should go back to someone else. Want to do Wario? Right. Wario, sure. That because that was our joke. We started Danger Mario when we had the Wario badge equipped, and that was just Wario super strong, but he's like got. Clogged arteries. He's got that's, asthma. He's just in shitty that's why health. I wish like <laughs> Wario was in like 3D world or like uh, yeah, the new Super Mario Bros. Like he just have a very slow but strong character. Epic Paper Mario also features Wario. I have, I have oh, as a partner. Wario and Waluigi. I don't know if they're partners. They're, they got they have. But they're in the game. They're Paper Wario and Paper Waluigi. What if they would follow the Luigi arc? Oh, like, like you just hear I about like their game. adventure going on. I, it's like partners with them, and Wario always like paints himself to be the best. Wow, buy a Maya book. Meanwhile, the partner is like, "Hey, at least he pays well. He kind of smells. Eats a lot of garlic." Confused. Actually, one time we went to this rich town, and he just everyone hated him. Actually, did you guys hear? Apparently, there's a uh, uh, Paper Mario 64 multiplayer mod in the works. You mentioned that to me. I, uh, someone actually, That's someone controls question. the partner. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, I was hoping it'd be like PvP. You could do action commands against each other. Oh, that would be pretty <laughs> cool too. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Just, just who has the most perfect? I'm happy. Like a lot of games have been like a lot. Of, Modern communities have been revived for a lot of games. Like, like I said, the Paper Mario 64 now has a multiplayer mod. Super Mario Sunshine has a multiplayer mod that I tried with Ray. It's very buggy, 
But it, it, it works. Yeah. It, it's really cool. Off the top of my head, the two stupidest things I can blame Nintendo for doing are... Well, obviously, not knowing what the fuck to do with Paper Mario, despite everyone screaming at them exactly what to do with Paper Mario. Well, the reason why... Give any Paper Mario fan control of the project and we would get a better Paper Mario well, game than Well, Miyamoto feels that it became way too close to a Mo the Mario and Luigi series, which is kind of stupid. I know he does, and he's yeah, wrong. It is, it is well, a stupid yeah. decision for Miyamoto. I love Miyamoto. I don't but... say that often about the dude. But this is really dumb. By the way, didn't Paper Mario come first? Yeah, it did. Yeah, uh, yes. That makes even less sense! But we can't have two RPG series about Mario, even if they play very differently. Yeah, you can! I mean, that would make about as much sense well, as having two totally honestly, different Pokemon RPG series. Oh, wait. Nintendo has kind of, like, lost the idea, like, a lot of good ideas on what to do with a lot of series. Like, for... I say a lot, but it's... The second thing I was going to say is F-Zero. Oh, yeah, that too. They they should really bring back the old IPs, like F-Zero. And I hate... It, I hate to say it's old, but Metroid. Yeah, that, I've heard a lot of Metroid fans complaining about the lack of Metroid lately, too. That's not uncommon. Well, because other and bomb. No, so I think there's a lot of good games that, like, need sequels, and they haven't, like... Kobe's Air Ride 2. Can you imagine how good that would be on, like, the Switch? I've, I've heard a lot of people love Air Ride. I didn't play much of it. It didn't would love what I played, but... I, again, I didn't play ha, much. Have so. a double dash mode and, like... I always... I really thought that, since they has... Hey, is that There's a lot of allusions nice. to double dash in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I really thought they would be bringing back the double dash mode, but no. Oh, yeah, I was just gonna mention that. They added the double yeah. items, but... but I was, I was gonna say, they, they kind of abandoned Paper Mario, and they abandoned Mario Party. They're still making Mario Party. Oh yeah, they? they are, but like they they're really not that good. Like as They did the no. thing where everyone's in the car at once and everyone Yeah, hated but and that. then they continue it's a little bit better in, actually no, there's not it's not much better. Mario Party ten, there's only like four or five boards. Or oh yeah. And like yeah, Is that, that the one is that the one that has Bowser the... Party. That is pretty cool. I like Bowser Party. Like if you have a group of like five friends, include uh, including yourself, it, it's a really good time. But I'd rather just play the older Mario Parties. I think, like, when Mario Party started losing its uh, lust, was, like, when all of the boards had a gimmick on it. Like, uh, well, by gimmick... Didn't they always no, all meant, have like, a gimmick on them? But at the end of the day, it was always like, oh, exchange 20 coins for a star. Yeah, <laughs> I, I guess. No, no, I, I still... That was like that in the original game, too. I still like Mario Party 7. Uh, even though, like, there's only one normal board, but I think it- Mario Party 8, there is no normal board, if I remember correctly, where it's just exchange 20 coins for a star. Didn't we buy a GameCube Mario Party recently, just so we'd have one? I think so. I think we, we did, have. we never played Mario it. Mario Party 5 and Mario Party 6 and 7 are quite good. 4 is kind of eh. Yeah. Mario Party 2, no, yeah. yeah. 1 through 4 was on the N64. Uh, 4 was on GameCube. I think what makes 4 okay. kind of bad is it was the first game people won. I don't think... I, I, I don't... I'm not in much business to say this, but I just feel it's like it wasn't polished that well. And everything kind of moved pretty yeah. slow. No, I'm pretty sure Mario Party 4 is slower than the first three Mario Parties. That's been happening to the Pokemon games for years. Is that a lot of people don't know it, n notice it, who have played the more recent ones, but they've gotten so slow in loading all the menus and moving through them Yeah, and everything. probably because the... Gotta load all the shit. Well, even just navigating like the in-game battle menu, Never mind. the animations take longer. Moving no. from selection to selection takes longer. I have longer. the original 3DS. And Pokemon Sun sometimes lags, like frame rate lags. I've been noticing. Oh, and especially in the 2v2. Yeah, battles. I've been noticing that a lot with like games lately. The like, 3DS can't handle those. I got those. Super Mario. Like, uh, I, I'm Super Mario. I got Lego Force Awakens on the Wii U. It has terrible frame yeah. rate lag with two-player mode. It's god awful, and it kind of saddens me. That's because Nintendo doesn't prioritize hardware. Yeah. I guess. I mean, it's never been a problem before now. Nintendo's yeah, always, always performed been, I think great it's just for the their game. games. I, I think it's just Star Wars. Like it's a more a matter. It's more a matter of other people designing games for Nintendo, and I, I think they're they're loosening up their quality standards a little bit okay. now that they have to compete with all these. You know, everything is on every system. Oh, now. So I'm very sad that. Uh, there's now a season pass for a Star Wars Lego game. Because I loved the first. Oh, like, yeah. the um, original trilogy and the complete saga. I love those. 
What about the original, uh, the prequel trilogy Lego game? I'm I'm not a fan of the Lego or Star Wars series, but any season passes for anything. Uh, yeah, they really do. <laughs> no, I love the Lego Star Wars games. I've heard good thing, great things about Lego's games. There's like just... so many playable characters in the Lego. Oh games. yeah, yeah. I haven't really kept. A, I think like I don't like the new ones now because they actually have voices now. I uh, I always like the old Lego humor where like uh, they would do like gags and whatnot instead of trying to like voice, but whatever. Now me and Murloc are both sitting to the side with no way to contribute. Uh, I was on the forums. <laughs> oh, I know. I, just, I, I don't know anything no, about Lego No, I didn't games. really intend to carry through a huge discussion about Lego like, stuff. I, I know, I, I know. Played, I played the first two. I'm just trying to think of, like, other GameCube games I loved. Ugh. I think the GameCube, mm, like... True. I think... War Wario World! Honestly, give it ten years. Oh! And I think the Wii U is gonna go down the path that uh, the GameCube did. It wasn't like... The console didn't sell great, but I think... The GameCube and Wii U has... Do people realize yeah, that it has games on it? Both consoles have amazing libraries. Cult classics. But what about the what about the Switch with all of its two games? I, I, I think the Switch is going to be as successful as the Wii. I think it. The, oh. The sales are doing skyrocketing. Yeah. I know this is multi-console, but Soul Calibur 2 on GameCube. Was oh my yeah. Game. Was my jam. Well, Link wasn't multi-console. I get. Yeah, that's why I bought it. <laughs> like you get you see the three games and their guest characters. And one was the Hiachi from Tekken, which is very niche to Namco. One was Spawn. Who gives a shit about Spawn? One and was fucking one was Link. fucking Link at the height of Nintendo's popularity. How do you compete with that? Oh, wait. Did you guys ever uh, have Mario Power Tennis? I have not. I loved that game. It, it's such a great game. A lot of the sport games on the game give us good. Except, well, Mario Baseball I uh... like, but Super Sluggers is just better on the Wii. I'm looking at my uh, obviously F Zero GX oh, yeah. must be mentioned. Melee, uh, Melee was great. The Sonic Adventure remakes were both yeah, pretty solid. Yeah, like they get a lot of hate, but honestly, the Sonic Adventures aren't that bad. Well, ports rather. I shouldn't say remakes. When Mario takes damage, occasionally recover one flower point. No, thank yeah, you. Could... Not every time he takes damage, only sometimes. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good badge. Well, not every time. <laughs> That's designed for builds that are designed to take damage, which we are not. Oh, he hit us! Wow! Oh, oh no! That's impressive. He used aerial ace. Oh, did we? I don't think we tattled on him. Oh well. Uh, I think you actually can get tattle entries you miss by checking like yeah, Franklin's garbage you can. can. <laughs> I remember because they got the hooktail tattle once. Oh. I've never actually done That's that the before, one... but oh I've heard yeah, you can and then in '64, like uh, there's oh. no tattle oh. system, so it's kind of oh shit. No, I was considering doing it with Bobbery, but I'm not confident that will that damage is guaranteed to miss. Yeah, it's fucking fast. Uh, the beautiful Joe games weren't bad, but they were hard as balls on GameCube. You can thank Platinum Studios for that. They like their the games hard. And I mentioned Warrior World is probably my favorite platformer on the GameCube. Well, that Sonic Adventure 2, also. I'm trying to look yeah, at my GameCube so library from here, but it's far away. I've been interested in the Pokemon GameCube oh, games, yeah, like, but I haven't uh, been able Shadow to track Coliseum them down. Or something. I, never... I rented, I rented Colosseum once, I think. But I didn't get to play through it. It's Pokemon Wasteland. Pokemon Mad Max! It was great. Was it a Wasteland? <laughs> the original Pokemon Coliseum on GameCube? Yeah. It was like this original story. Yeah, like, I know that. The it's main character with an Umbreon and Espeon. The Ore region. And he like stole I'll Pokemon. It was great! That was yeah, that was the one thing about those games. You could Capture other people's Pokemon. Only short ones, though. Only shadow ones, yeah. Hello, Dark Koopa Winged? Dark Paracoopa? No, not you. If you talk to this guy, he can 
You you can pay him and he'll cheat you down a fl some floors, but no, we don't need that. We we we've got coins. We're making bank. How far behind am I? Uh, are you watching the stream or are you watching, I'm watching Skype? Skype. I'm looking at Jackson. It's only a second or two behind. I don't know. I'm not. That's because I'm right next to you. I'm jumping on Buzzy Beetles. Uh, yeah, I can see I that. I just missed one. Uh, what can hit him? I don't think I have any partner who can damage him. That's unfortunate. Well, dread. Just blow a kiss, Goombella. Stand there and look pretty. Doll, Dave. Yeah, see? So we finished Jackie Chan Adventures yesterday. We kinda sorta finished it before that, but there was an after finale episode. Oh. Have you guys seen it before? I remember that show. I was a little when it was on. <laughs> Very young. Yeah. We finished Shaolin Showdown, and then Jackie Chan lasted longer, so we finished mm. that. Both really crazy shows. Oh, but it was its animation was done. <laughs> Watch villain. Watching villain. Watching villains. All right, we got the we got the Toru badge. Oh! Oh! I could put on other sound effect badges. I just liked the enemies doing, like, real human screams when you hit them. <laughs> they did that in Mario Maker, too. This is the As war that never Many people ends. abused. This war never ends! We're just descending and just killing everyone. I'm starting to feel like an asshole. <laughs> so these people, these things live here, right? Yeah. You think they just feed on, like, groundwater and bugs? I think they, I think they eat lots of moss. I think that's what I think that's what the kind of miserable existence is this. Uh, they're happy until you just murder them. They're here. Maybe maybe they're paid to hang out in this. They do dungeon. have a lot of money. To maybe. be fair, I mean, where's it coming from? Maybe yeah. Level four. Okay, we're about halfway. Mm, exciting. Maybe they go. Maybe they go to their wives and kids every night, and then they uh, in the morning they come down here. They have to climb down however many levels deep they're supposed to be. Oh, wait, that... The pit of a hundred trials is closed between 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. Please come back tomorrow That's... to explore for the treasure. The bomb. Isn't that the one that? Uh, well, I'm not saying that. Isn't that the species that ones that runs the lottery? This game. That what? Like um, the the pink bomb bombs. Don't they run the lottery in this game? And if you change your uh, game time like purposely, they blow up on you. It's a giant bomb, but that one is brown. Oh. And yeah, you get a game over if you uh, cheat and piss them off. These guys, the big pink ones, their gimmick in battles is to just beef up and use a lot of like attack boost, defense boost, and then they explode and just do like eight damage to everyone in the ring in the fight. Oh god! Wait a minute, there's a bomb that like explodes. Man, I fucking hate hearing myself. It ruins, like, my train of thought. There's a reason why I'm talking so weird, it's just because, yeah, I'm hearing myself, but I'm... I mean, that's the only way you can do it, man. There's no helping it. Yeah. Unless you want to, like, get your headphones splitter and come sit over here away from the mic. Did you guys ever play the that's Pikmin good. games? I have not. I would suggest it. I, I like the first two Pikmin. Well, oh, it's like darker all... now. It's Ooh. danker. Spooky. Level 50. I strange sack. Nice. Wow, a bag of holes. This is actually a good reward. We can carry more items now. Twice as many. Man. Also, have you, as you've noticed, no save points in the pit of a hundred trials. Hence the difficulty. I remember um the Now we start running into some real. The cunts. Super Paper Mario reward for in the pit of hundred trials is uh the the pixie Ooh. that makes you run fast. Is that it? I don't remember the Pit of 100 Trials in Super Paper Mario, either of them being particularly challenging. No. Well, they were kind of easy because you just need to kill one enemy and get a key. 
Yeah. Honestly, uh, Super Paper Mario just wasn't that much of a challenging game in general. No, the only pain was trying to collect everything, like all the Cuts. enemy logs and such. Ooh, jeez. And that was just that just wasn't worth it because they made it so hard in that game as opposed to this game where you just tattle on them and that's it. They tried to make it Pokemon where you have to capture the yeah. enemies. And then Sticker Star just oh the only good thing about Sticker Star is the music. I guess I did I actually tried to like knowing it was a bad game after the first playthrough, I tried a second playthrough to push through Sticker Star. And I got stuck. I don't know where you to go stuck from where I'm sticker? at in the game. Oh. Yeah, I never played Sticker Star. It was too hard for me. Mm. I think what makes Color Splash a better game than Sticker Star is Color Splash has a lot of story and a lot of character to it. And it has like the old yeah. fashioned Paper Mario like humor in it. I feel. Yeah. I mean, I don't really care about the writing unless the game's good. Oh, yeah. But I think it's what makes. That's mandatory first. But like, uh, you will be great. Colors... What? I didn't say. Oh. You have this like story, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's really good, and it's super good, but all the conflicts are resolved with rock paper scissors. <laughs> so Alex, kid, I feel like we've had this conversation. Well, we need to play it and see if it's a good game. Then it's not. But okay, <laughs> we do two players, one controller for Alex, kid. Oh. No, the oh. fuck would that work? It's a platformer. Oh, okay. Only the only the final bosses are all rock, paper, scissors. But, yeah, Color Splash runs into the same problem that Sticker Star did, like, where the battles just feel... The shitty battle Yeah, system. it feels meaningless, because you get no XP. Well, it, not even that. It's the, the fucking stickers for basic actions. Like, they chose to emulate the hit game that everyone universally loved, Chain, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Yeah. It's not like that was the most hated game in the Kingdom Hearts series Hi. at all. <laughs> not the most critically panned battle system in the history of gaming. No siree. Yeah, let's do that for Paper Mario. Real-time card, card combat. Real-time card management. <laughs> oh, you want to jump? You want to swing a hammer? You better have the card for it! It's a combat system based on multitasking! Kind of like ATB. Okay, I'm not going to start that discussion again. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Wait, what? Not nothing. So that was a we got we stole a pretty lucky P badge. So that's the partner version. I don't think there are any badges that you have to steal from enemies in this game. You can get them all somewhere in the wild like in a block or something to fill out the badge entries. Just annihilating. Well, when we, they're only gonna, we're only gonna run into potential threats when we get to like the bottom floors. I guess so. And then if I miss an action command, it could fuck me, because that's when we run into groups of oh, amazing I got, and things like I that. I got very interested in the stream because he's trying to stay awake for the feng shui tonight. So I told him he could just watch. Oh, oh, God he bless got... him. He's still, he's still got quite a while. <laughs> it's not gonna be till like oh, seven yeah. o'clock. That's like three. Does he have Rockstar where he lives? Huh? He lives in France. Rockstar? Yeah, the energy drink. Oh. Or Monster. What brought that up? He's trying to stay awake, yeah? Oh. I just linked him the stream so he can watch it so he, he can do something. He, uh, he's a big fan of Paper Mario, I think. I mean, you can join okay. the call if he really wants to. Yes, hey, Mario Party. Should I add uh, him? Uh, let me ask him. Paper Mario Party. Oh. I know it's not likely, but I would be so thrilled if Paper Mario was his own character in Smash Brothers. You know, I, I would rather an alternate costume. Like, uh, like Mr. Game & Well, Watch. I don't want him to be a clone of Mario, though. Like, he, he has his own unique stuff, like the hammer and yeah. the star powers and things like that. Uh, I love the star powers in this game. That's another thing that Paper Mario is lack. Uh, the new ones. Yeah. Um, uh, Star, oh, Earth, yeah. Tremor, I love them. Those are the best ones. Number three, number three thing by Nintendo that pisses me off. Why, why, why they have to base Wario's entire character in Smash Brothers off Wario yeah. and not his platformers? The guy who makes Smash, uh, makes Kirby and doesn't like the platformers. 
but they're they're great. Fucking Wario Land and Wario World. He has a full move set in those games by himself. I, he's got fucking pile drivers and actually, awesome stuff. And no, he's just heard, fat, uh, disgusting guy who farts all the no, time. Yeah, that's that's what they went with. This doesn't that's, get He rides a motorcycle. Yeah. At that least they gave him his actual costume in uh in four. Yeah. Well, in same with Brawl. They did. Too, uh, as an alternate costume. No, in Brawl. Is, no, was it? Yeah, it was an alternate costume. Actually, I think it's I the only remember. one in the game. I wouldn't game. be surprised. Because they heard mm -hmm. people bitching about the lack of Wario costume and they included ah. it. Fair enough. Um, yeah, but, oh yeah, so apparently Nintendo licensed a trademark for a standalone Bowser game. It doesn't confirm anything, because it just... Oh man, that'd be so cool! Like, I mean, Wario no, got yeah, his own I, I game, why shouldn't it? Bowser? It makes so much sense. Toad has his own game. Yoshi has a series of games. Peach has a game. When do we get a Ganondorf game? That'll be cool. We got Hyrule Warriors. You know what I'm really it. looking forward to? A, a true, well, Dark Moon was pretty good. I want a true sequel to uh, Luigi's Mansion. With just one mansion. Because I like Dark Moon, but he misses like, the overall exploration of the huge man. You guys play Luigi's Mansion, right? No. Yeah. I thought it was okay. Oh, I love do you, I love you, did you Do you know where your copy is? For GameCube? I think it's like over there. Well, if we have it, we can oh, stream I would it at some point. I thought you speak. lost it. I, I love it. It's a good game. You just didn't want to play it after a while. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it's missing. You want to go check? Mm, not right We'll now. check after the stream. That and Kingdom Hearts 2 you lost, but we found Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm yeah, so mad. We can play that. We can play the Kingdom Hearts franchise. I let my friend yeah. buy my Melee copy, and he, he lost it, so... Oh, you fool. Why? Why would you? And no one so there's no like place that sells GameCube games anymore, and they me melee and Amazon like sells for so high price. Oh, what's that? We haven't encountered that enemy. Oh, yet. those enemies. Those are like they're very annoying. Remember correctly. They are yes. The souped-up version of this is probably the strongest enemy in the game. Palace of Shadows is leaking. Huh. Wonder where that place is. It's a part machine, part organic, centuries-old thing. Ten five two. They spelled wizard wrong. No. That's the, the yeah. It's it's a pun. Wizard. It's so wizard. You're a wizard. I thought that said dank wizard for a <laughs> second. No, then it would be green. Also, I, mean, I just realized we had the we had the barbecue enemies in Sonic. Now we have them in Mario too. Those guys just look like barbecues. Sky blue spiny. Okay, it's why not just blue spiny? You have to be that specific. Is that even sky blue? It appeared I from sky a blue pipe. Was lighter than that. It appeared from a pipe thrown by the dark Lakitu. Pipe? Is that what spinies and balls are called? Pipes? <laughs> it's holding a pipe right now. What? <laughs> what indeed? <laughs> Paper Mario Lord. Also, did you see how high that jump was? For some reason, the hitboxes of these spinies are, like, way off in this game. And they look, like, super tall compared to where they should be. Hmm. It rides a rain cloud. It attacks by throwing oh, pipes oh, at- oh, What? Oh, <laughs> was there a last-minute design change? <laughs> if it's holding up a pipe when you jump on it, you'll get hurt. A pipe? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Can you do a Google oh, search for yeah, pipe? Let, let is there another this. definition Mario. I'm missing? Paper Mario pipe. No, I'm just gonna get the picture so of the pipe. Up, <laughs> just do define pipe. What? Oh, let me look up lock and pipe. Mario travels with pipes all the time. You yeah, that don't hurt him. No. Yeah, the, there's no thing like lock or two pipe. What the fuck? Is there? A, is there? By a... the way, if you guys weren't aware, there's no reason to ever level up anything with badge points in this game until you have them maxed. Because you can just buy infinite HP plus and FP plus badges. Oh yeah, I never thought of that. So you can swap out your badge points for HP or FP at will anytime. Is there is there a Paper Mario wiki? Yeah, there is. There, there is. Yes. Pipes on there. Or just look up the just enemy. Look up, yeah, just look up uh, the sky blue spiny. Oh, I'm sure it'll repeat the text. Okay, in sky, game. sky. Oh, blue, he's got a life shroom. Uh, spiny. Oh hey, we fought. We fought him in Glitz Pit! What are you doing down here? What's, what are you doing, buddy? What was the Dark Gatekeeper or something? Did he have a name? 
He was okay. the Undertaker. Okay. The Undertaker. So, it is not a problem- Okay, so the wiki says, Unlike regular spinies, which hatch from spiny eggs, but sky blue spinies are said to hatch from pipes. Said and they're to, also huh? referred to in battle pipes! sky blue pipes when they roll into a ball. Okay. Referred to. So they're confused too. However, the sup Oh, so the name is the result of a mistranslation. I the thought so. Are there we go. So, uh, the name in Japanese, uh, I, I'm gonna butcher this, but it's Pipeo, which comes from a well-known Japanese folktale. But it can be interpreted in, uh, huh. incorrectly in this case as an approximation of the English pipe into Japanese katakana. That's just lazy! Yeah, so it was a mystery. I, I kind of suspected that. Yeah. Okay, so this guy has found the weakness to, uh, to our all the damage attack. It's, uh, immortality. Uh -oh. That'll defeat us. Also, Murloc, if you're not aware, normally we cannot jump on enemies that have sharp things pointing up, but, uh, there's a badge that lets us do uh, so. I was so wondering about that. just tripped out on badge power. Is there a reason why you're using... Well, other than tattling. Actually, yeah, that probably answers my question. I was gonna ask why you're using the Bella. We're just filling out the tattle log. And also, she does the most damage out of our party members. For enemies that she can land on. Yeah, jump is great. As opposed to... At, at base, she would do six damage. All the single hit party members, like Coops and Flurry, deal Is five damage. Is there like damage. a single handedly, like, OP partner in this game? Because I remember in 64, wasn't it Watt? I seem to remember, like, a lot of speedrunners used Watt. Huh. For, she's good for defense piercing, yeah. but other than that. Ray, message me. The close. You know. Watt also had the advantage that she was able to power up Mario's attack. So, that's probably why they used her to just, like, make Mario blitz through enemies. But as far as her damage, no. She was just average damage with, uh, oh, defense I piercing. like Sushi. Goombario hit harder enemies that had no defense. I feel I'm the only person that likes Sushi. In a oh, yeah! Sushi, as voiced by Peggy Hill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the... In both games, the hardest hitting on uh, just a basic enemy that doesn't have any defense or spikes are the Goombas. Oh. At least at max level. Isn't the voice partner and, uh, in 64 Paracarry? That's, yes! that's our opinion, that's for sure. Like, he, he does no He damage. doesn't have any use for anything, really. No, no his, his damage is the same as any single hit party member. It only does five. And he doesn't really have any reason... There's no reason to use him in battle. Oh, yeah. Except, His abilities are kind of poor. Except against, like, the Electro Blooper, when you can't touch enemies. And they're flying. That's the only re reason to use him. He got Hammer Throw. Yeah, if you don't ha and also if you don't have Hammer Throw equipped. If those three conditions are met. I'm pretty sure... I, I love Flurry, but I'm pretty sure Flurry is probably the weakest Oh, aww. Oh. What was that? Was that in Lucky? It was, uh... It was either PFD down or D up P down. Or oh, okay. partner member. I don't know. What partner do you think is the weakest in this game? The weakest in this game, Flurry. Yeah, definitely Bobby. me. Flurry. Oh, Miss she can't. She does normal damage, and she also can't jump on spiky was, enemies because she has a jumping Miss attack. Mouse, but Miss Mouse actually has a use to take to take items and badges. Flurry really has no use. Miss Mouse also pierces defense, like Watt did oh. in the first game. Because so. she's sneaky. The strong... I would argue that as far as OP party members, in both games, it's the Goombas. Because Goombario, as was shown in the playthrough, has his charge god power shit you can abuse against bosses. And Goombella... has... this. Why do they, they have... why do they all have Goom in their names? Isn't that like... Because they're Goombas. Isn't that like if, like, everyone was named Guy or Hugh? Guy, yeah. Guy or Humphrey or Hugh, Guy yeah. Guy <laughs> So, uh... Like an or. Goombella... Goombella has the ability to give Mario an extra turn. Oh, uh, that's pretty overpowered. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yes, it is very broken. That... And it comes in great the handy. Those are pretty good, too, in the bombs. Uh, they're, they're good for ground... If you have groups of ground enemies. Yeah. I use Coops and Cooper a decent amount. And then Bow, I don't know what <clears throat> Bow status is really. 
Bow is good mid game because Bow is weird in that uh, at level one, all the party members do two damage. At level two, Gumbario does four damage. Everyone does four damage except Bow does five. And then at level three, they're up to six. So and then when you don't have any level three party party members, Bow's the best. But after that, she's back to being average. Actually, I think in this game, like a lot of the partner that a lot of speed bonus use is Vivian. Yeah. Oh, damage done. Yeah. That'd be it. I'm trying to think what she has going for her. She she can burn enemies. Maybe but... I I think does have pretty high damage if I remember correctly. Her damage is average. She, she does has good five, abilities. but I think she does four. But she can burn enemies, which does lingering damage. So that's what's really good about her. If, you know, you're against an enemy with a lot of health who needs the extra damage. And you're not Danger Mari, who can just wipe out everything with a stiff breeze. No, no. What game has the better partner cast? 64,000 you adore. Uh, in terms of abilities, I think Thousand Year Door yeah, but, like, story is character. a little more creative and a little more useful. In terms of the personalities, I don't know. Bombette and Cooper were both kind of bland, nothing personalities. Oh, Cooper was the blandest. The blandest of yeah. the bland. Paracarry was... The only thing we got out of Paracarry is laughing at his uselessness. <laughs> so that's something. Be... He's the Hercule of the game. And making it be voiced by Don Knot. Oh, yeah, Zooks, Mario! Uh, Bao was great. Love Bao. <laughs> what was interesting just because the, of the irresponsibility of Mario taking a baby into combat? <laughs> uh, sushi was kind of. Sushi was okay. She just. The irresponsibility of taking an old woman into combat. <laughs> <laughs> then Lackalester, who was a vehicle. Yeah. That was his role. He, he, yeah, he's the guy who owned a car out of the group. Oh, great. Double dip P. We need a different batch to let our item, our partner use two items. <laughs> Triple dip. Ah, uh, so yeah, the, there were a lot of there were a lot of stinkers in Paper Mario One. Yeah. Paper Mario Two. I like Goombella. Koops is pretty boring, but at least he's, he's more unique than Koopa yeah. was. Flurry is at least an interesting character, yeah. even if she's not good for battle. We got the wrestler dragon kid. Vivian's pretty good. Bobbery, the salty sailor. I like I like two's personalities better. They got more personality. Yeah. Oh, now they're yellow barbecues. So this is a trope flipper. In uh, in most games, the dark version of the enemy is like the stronger, edgier one, right? Well, in this game. The regular wizard is stronger than the dark wizard. Interesting. That's because the power of darkness is, uh, it's no good. Yeah, corrupt. Demon energy is weaker than spirit that's energy. That's very true. <laughs> that's why, that's why, uh, bad always loses. But it gives a great sensation when using it. Yu Yu Hakusho. Hey, we're at, we're at the point where we're actually getting star points. Yeah, we've been at that point. I, I wasn't paying attention. Oh my god, the TV trip. And that's act. <laughs> what? Sorry. I t <laughs> I'm uh, currently TV reading tropes? the TV Traps article on random crap right now. There's. Whoever wrote oh. the article for Sergeant Hammer is so mean to her. <laughs> Sergeant what? Hammer? And, uh, here's the story. No. Oh. It's so mean. Oh! He can survive one hit. Oh no! The first enemy in the in the trials who can survive one jump uh -oh. from us. You can bell to finish him off. Yeah. I mean, if we really wanted to, we could uh, like remove our FP drain or something to boost our attack a little bit. But FP drain. Oh, that now she's wet. Wet T-shirt contest. I don't. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. College girl. Yeah. College girl doused with water. You see where I was going. I, I understood. Spring Breakers. Actually, I think my dream Paper Mario game. It's it's this. It's definitely not a visual idea, but Paper Luigi following his tails in this game. 
I thought you were about to say your dream it's Paper Mario. A bunch girl. of partners fucking berating you. <laughs> exactly. It would be like, yeah, self loathing Paper Mario. I think that's the one thing. Well, Super Paper Mario got a lot of things for I think it has, it has a really good story, but I love how you can play as like Luigi, Peach, and Bowser. If you say that, if you say so. Oh, uh, that was very story driven. I did. Yeah. The one. I, I didn't really care for the story of Paper Mario at all. I thought it was Super Paper Mario at all. I thought it was very convoluted. But the one thing I did like about it is that there's a fucking Dante arc. Mario dies, goes to hell, and comes back. What? That's one of the chapters. Oh, really? Yes, there's an underworld oh, in Super uh, Paper Mario. So he loses all of his lives. The river twigs. <laughs> Just... The river twigs, yeah, not sticks. God, that's so dark! Oh wait, just wait till you hear the music, hold on. I don't know if they're... Uh, maybe you can play it, I don't know. No, just... For a or anyway. Oh yeah, we also have a badge that lets us jump on fire. <laughs> oh, nice. Useful ability. Oh, it actually sounds like an applause! I wonder how far we are from, uh... Superstar. That's the highest rank of stage. Where are we at? 80 something? 73. So we. Actually, I might have to look at our badge setup because we're going to reach a point where uh, we can't one shot enemies with multi bonks and we're going to have groups of them. Oh, man. Swoopula! The palace of what now? Don't let it bite me, Mario. <laughs> oh, god damn it! Your belly's fine! It's okay, that guy only has 10 HP. Don't hurt me, wizard. Oh, ow. <laughs> That's another great thing about this game over the first game. In the first game, the partners didn't have their own hit points yeah, or anything. Yeah, they would just be disabled. So Mario was always the one in front. In this game, they're fucking meat shields. Mario can be a total asshole. Just stick them in front, let them take the hits. They like it's it. okay, they can heal. Yeah, feels good. More badge points. Alright, you need to put some more dangerous shit. Oh, I, that's right, I, I leveled up my badge points, and I don't think I did anything with the last three we got. No, <laughs> we're just cruising. We haven't needed more. Uh, let's see what we got. No, not there. Pretty lucky. Zap tap. Eh. Not that useful. How can we give us more power? Quick camera hits everything on the ground. Yeah. Charge would probably not be useful. No. Fire drive is a stronger quake hammer. Oh, really? Maybe we could do that to increase. Does it, does it hit everything? It does. Okay. Maybe that's our maybe that's our answer. <laughs> At least for now, that's going to be our our trump card if we can't multi bounce enemies. So what happens enemies. when you try to uh, stack two fire uh, things? Like, does it just increase the damage? It gets stronger, <laughs> but takes more flower points. Oh. I really didn't. It's like I didn't know that. That's so cool. Oh, we got power plus. Maybe you should. You know what? Mario oh, needs oh, more. Oh God damn it! Sorry, partners. <laughs> Jump man. No, oh, we, no, no, we, yeah, we, you're right. We need the hammer. P up, D down. More power. But your damage goes up. Yeah. We're like playing a dangerous game here. Uh, we could stack pretty luckies and be harder to hit. Yeah, do that. Yeah, I think that could be good. Flower saver. No, we need that. We need FP drain. Sorry, sweet. Uh, Should we forfeit quick change? We just get rid of a couple of like, the damage ups and just... Now we need those. We need the regular, the close call ones. Fine, get quick change. Just don't. I, the partners, partners. Are, the partners aren't going to be the ones that are going to win these for us from this point on. Yeah. We can make our partner pretty lucky. <laughs> we could. Hmm. Sleepy stop. 
Tornado jump is also an attacks all aerial enemies thing, but... Sure, we can do that. I don't know how much stronger it is than multi-bounce, if at all. Damage dodge. Nah. Well, I, okay, yeah. Because I'm, I'm using A action commands, not super guarding right now, so that will be good to have. Need those. I know, this is the most fun part of the game to watch. Ice we power. We still, we're still running into the fires. So. Super appeal! <laughs> Timing tutor. Get the... Uh, Simple oh, fire. We can, we can use that, actually. That, that actually is just for stylish commands, oh. so we don't need that. You Simple know what? Fire. I'm gonna use it. <laughs> you, you broke down and did it! I have one fly I have one badge point left and nothing to use it on, so uh simplifier. What does it do? It makes action commands easier, but you earn less star points, which we're not using star points anyway, so is that like a challenge you guys are trying to do or uh. No. It's just something he does he just uses. And he like it, it, it's, it's a training it. wheels badge. It doesn't actually improve you at all, it just makes it easier for the user to interact. It's like homing missiles and awesome knots. It doesn't actually improve your auto attack. Or auto aim. So, regular chain chomp. Stronger than the red chomps. Okay. Oh, chomps. That was like truck trucks. Oh, that had a defense up badge. That's okay, we don't need those. Who needs defense? Oh, hey, we got it anyway. Sweet. <laughs> so, we? here's what you could do. You could build up Danger Mario on one side, and then, and then you have your partner just build him as a tank. You and just have him tank Mario. shit, yeah. Although enemies, a lot of enemies don't care about who they hit. They'll hit the person behind just regardless. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Defeated. I wonder if, I hope we have enough power to take out the bottom level. Uh, I don't know. He is pretty tough. Like, nor when I did Danger Mario on my own file, not the one we've been streaming on. I was dealing like uh, 50 to 60 damage per jump. Oh, man. That's that's too strong. Come here. Come here. Hey, asshole. Oh, he hit me. Miss. Okay, we have enough to one-shot the Dark Koo patrols now. I think they have the most hit points in the game out of regular enemies. Well, you'll probably defeat. You you'll probably get through it. I think, like, uh, yeah. 64, I like the Peach sequences more in 64 than this game, but the Bowser sequences are really yeah. good. It's more fun to be, like, wandering around the castle than, uh, you know, evil Yeah, evil most of it is just sci-fi base. Like, the only thing I remember you get to do as Peach in this game is just make potions. You gotta do that, you gotta walk around a little bit and get into Grotus' office. You gotta flirt with an AI. Yeah. Dance with Dance it, with yeah. Dance with yourself. Um, I don't know, I just have good I memories I would like to sing a song for you, Peach. In 64. Like, baking the cake for the, uh... Cuisine guy. I mean, that was basically the same yeah. as the potion thing, though. They're very similar. The random fat guy up in the flying castle. How did he get up here? And, uh, the sneaky parasol. Turning into a Koopa Troll just in time to get thrown into your room. So, looking through scrapbook of Paper Mario stuff. Wow, we are getting a lot of star points. I remember this uh, person that glitches Paper Mario made it so uh, he got to fight Bowser as Peach. I'm pretty... Strider? Yeah, Strider, yeah. Yeah. I watch his Paper Mario videos, he's pretty cool. 
You'll never find a guy more into Paper Mario than Strider X. Paper Mario glitches for sure. Okay. Now I only have to walk into weak foes to destroy them. My aura is enough. <laughs> Equip that, see if it works. No, it doesn't work in the pit. Okay. And besides, these aren't weak enough. It's talking like Goombas and shit. Right. Goombas and shit. Two weakest enemies. Yeah, oh. Goomba shit. That's the one. You know what? I'm not going to be surprised if we see a literal poop enemy in a Mario game in the near future. We've got the fucking poop emoji. Yeah, uh, well, the Binding of uh, Isaac crossover. Uh, Conquer is a mighty, uh, shit. Binding of Isaac for Smash yes. 5. Oh no. Or Isaac. <laughs> Isaac for Binding of Isaac. Wait, I got a solution. It's with Smash's mom. That poor Spunia is like, all right, he missed me. I have an opportunity to. Oh wait, no, never mind. I'm gonna die. As he poses while killing me. <laughs> I also like that they added the stage gimmick to battles in yeah. this game. That was a fun little feature. People are watching. <laughs> Throw money into the ring. This is the most pro wrestling a Mario game has ever been. <laughs> the flashier you are, the more uh, power you get. That should be pro wrestling games in general. Like, yeah. Because that's always about, like... Anyway, I I'll stop ranting about pro wrestling. No, I don't care. I'm not going to be able to talk about it, but you're welcome to. Like, I was talking with my mom last night, and I was, like, talking to her about, like, pro wrestling. Your ideas? Yeah. Like, the idea I had for, like, a pro wrestler that would be a vampire, but instead of, like, those other vampire pro wrestlers, like, uh, Gangreal or Kevin Thorne that were, like, edgy teenager types, yeah. you just had the classical Dracula, and he, like, drinks wine in between matches, he, like, uh, comes to the ring just with his cape above his face like a villain. He has, like, a black cape and... Classical vampire. Back hair. That's the level up. Like he, like you would have, he would have it so that the guy doing the gimmick, yeah, he would bite into a guy's shoulder, but he wouldn't actually do. He'd have a blood packet in his mouth, but it would look like blood was going down the other wrestler's like chest and stuff. It'd be pretty cool. Yeah, we might actually max our badge points this playthrough. Oh, That's nice. exciting! I've never done that in a single playthrough of the game before. I had to really grind to make that happen. Then again, I'm probably calling it early. That might not happen at all. Uh, we have three. Uh, double dip. HP plus. No. no. <laughs> Obviously not. That would fuck us over so hard. Enable jump man, then enable hammer man. Then we would have nothing. Exactly. We would have neither move. <laughs> jump man, hammer man, play through. You only use your partner. Uh, oh no, that would actually kind of be interesting. Just only buff up your partner. He did it. I could either defend plus or I could have two damage dodges. That depends on me getting the action command right. De de defend plus. <sighs> what else are you going to use that one on? You said without hesitation. <laughs> oh, that depends on your skill. Defend plus. If it works. Hello, spider. Are you ready? Oh, said Strider. We had, uh, no, we had the Piter enemies in the Great Tree. You know what these are called? Dark Piter. Arantula. Oh, why? Because, you know, Piter is like spider without the S. Oh. And Arantula is like tarantula without the T. This is incredible. And Dude. Ekans is snake spelled backwards. <laughs> Ekans. Mind blown. It's Ekans. That's, that's snake spelled backwards, Don Wiz. Don Wiz. spelled Arbok wrong. There's a wrestler called Relic, and it, and it was literally killer spelled backwards. <laughs> yeah. And then he appeared, and then the the commentator's like, "Oh no, it's Relic!" And the other commentator's like, "That's Don, that's uh, that's killer spelled backwards, Don West." Thank you, announcer, for that uh, insight. <laughs> like, I don't think it's we like got Tobor, it. Tobor, the robot it's spelled killer... backwards. Or oh, Asimo. Is Asimo spelled backwards? Or or the original. No, it's not. You just talk about a robot, and then I thought Asimo. Alucard. Alucard, yes. To be fair, that That's comes Dracula from, like, spelled backwards. That comes from, like, the 40s, so but I don't think people were very smart back then. It's okay. Wow. 
Alucard comes from the 40s? I don't know. It's pretty old. It well, it's comes from a Dracula sequel. Is it, is it in an actual Dracula book? No, it comes from a Dracula movie sequel. Oh, okay. There's a Batman vs. Dracula, by the way, and it's a basically stupid. You haven't tattooed for long. Oh. I wish I were surprised. <laughs> That's that, a piranha no, it's a movie. plant. Not it's a dark a piranha, yeah, it's kind a of regular odd. piranha yeah, plant. Yeah, the normal piranha plant's the strongest. It's the strongest of them all. Because it's, the it's the most classic. Wasn't there a Frankenstein vs. Godzilla? I guarantee, yes. Oh god, Max is <laughs> typing something to me. <laughs> you, mean, you mean Van Helsing? Frankenstein got a shit rep from the movies. Oh, God. he was actually a, a really like deep, like human character in the novel. There was a there was a movie I saw called I Frankenstein. Yeah, it was t it was a it was a sequel to like Frankenstein, kind of sorta. Yeah. And like it involved the Frankenstein's monster like killing his creator tragically, then wandering the earth for like a long time, and then suddenly gargoyles come. What? And they defeat like some suddenly gargoyles. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I mean, how the fuck do you think I felt watching it? <laughs> Fucking Dargor behind the ropes. <laughs> so gargoyle, uh, gargoyles come, and then he's like, "Yo, you don't have a name. I'll name you Adam." And he's like, uh, "Okay, I guess." I'm gonna wander around the wilderness, wilderness for years. And then he, he, like, wanders around the wilderness before demons attack him, and he comes back, and it's suddenly it's modern day city. <laughs> oh, okay. And then it's like he, he takes a couple, like, really, like, heavy weapons and starts beating this shit. Just out like of Mary demons. Shelley intended. And it's like his quest to get wow. a soul. Yeah, clearly. What? Just like, Just like Mary Shelley intended. <laughs> You know she wrote that she wrote that book when she was a teenager on like a yeah. dare that she and her friends were doing yeah. of who could write the best like horror book or yeah. something. She, doesn't, she, well, she took it seriously. She she is a pretty screwed up lady considering the uh, time. It was uh she was uh her, her, I think either her sister or like her best friend. Uh it was those two and then uh her sister or best friend's husband, but she was actually uh the husband's lover, secretly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This, this... I was not aware of this uh, hidden detail. No, yeah, this is Mary Shelley had a screwed up life, and they were like dropping they, secret like, Frankenstein away, off of and, knowledge. Like, I don't know, it like, but like it was the 1800s. There was, it was a point very, she fucked Edgar Allan Poe, and they cut themselves together. Yeah. Oh. Poe was a messed up dude. Did Edgar Allan Poe ever fuck anybody? I was he like it. pining for his niece or he, something? Uh, he he was, died probably. in the gutter. It was his cousin. It was his second yeah. cousin. Oh, that's not as bad. It's still pretty bad. <laughs> Actually, if you believe the Edgar Allan Poe book, The Raven, he was killed in the quest to like to like find a killer. What? Okay. Is it? Yeah, there's an Edgar Allan Poe movie called oh. The Raven, and it sucked oh, okay, good. because it got it, it posited that Edgar Allan Poe and this and the scrappy detective were trying to find like a serial killer <laughs> that was killing everybody based on Edgar Allan Poe's works. The Raven was not a, a book; it was a poem, by yeah. the way. Yeah, no, not there's a, a movie called The Raven. I know, but you said the, the you said Edgar Allan Poe book. Poe's works. Oh, that's what I meant. Oh fuck. Okay, you're up, Goombella. Take it away. Oh look, an opportunity to attack! Oh no, wait, never mind. I'm gonna die. What? I was thinking, what if one of the stage hazards ends up killing you on the 99th level? Like you, the you, they can all only deal yeah. one damage. You're at one. <laughs> I'm just picturing the scenario. You're, you're at one life, and then you fuck kill like the final creature, and then suddenly a bucket drops on <laughs> your head and kills you. Da, 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 da. It's okay. It'd be content. That's true. Bonk! Then we would have- If that happened, I would just call it a win, and I'd, I'd do this again off-stream. Fair enough. I'd just say, hey, we won it. We won. <laughs> Cut to that in the final video. Hey, man, you wanna go down, man? If I took that offer, I would skip past the prize. <laughs> and I- He would take me past the prize. And I would have to come all the way back down here again if I ever wanted to get this chest. And what's in the chest? Lucky day. When oh, when Mars attack causes enemies to miss more often, so it's a better version of uh, pretty lucky. Oh, what does it do? It's a better version of pretty lucky. 
Oh, en enemies will miss Mario when attacking him sometimes. Oh, lucky day. We need as many of those as we can get. And then oh, there's, there's one remaining. How much is that worth then? Like, in compared to, like, pretty luckies. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, I don't know. I guess we'll find like, out. I wonder how good it is. Uh, I get, we might just not spend the one. Piercing blow? Not gonna need it. I'll just, I'll just leave it so that we know that we have the extra one when we level up again, inevitably. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Chill out. Never succumb to a first strike. That actually sounds useful. I think we're past all the fire enemies, but I'm not 100% positive. When we get to the... When we get to 99, when we're about to hit level 100, which we don't know what's there yet, guys, we'll, uh... And the oh, street. hey, it's the... No <laughs> it's the Chinese knockoff Crystal King. <laughs> Hong Kong bootleg is Crystal King. The Crystal King... Oh, really there's only on one the of them. Oh, look at... He'd be called look Snow Look Beijing Smog. Yeah. No, what do you mean? <laughs> Beijing Air. <laughs> hey, look, it's cyberpunk atmosphere. It's a poison puff. Basically just a puff of poisonous air. He's so cute. Except this is Mario, so it's got a face. <laughs> is poison attack... Okay, is poison gas attack is 10. They charge you, but they also save up toxins. So, all of the puff enemies can, like, charge themselves. <laughs> It made sense when it was like a cloud storing electricity, but then it was cold energy, and now it's poison energy. They're elementals. Yeah, whatever that Amazing. is. Amazing. Poison puff. Like, you know what a fire elemental is? It's just a, a creature made out of fire that walks around. There's a there's a character in, like, Hearthstone or RuneScape or one of those that's called a pain elemental. <laughs> I'm gonna give that one a hard uh, RuneScape. What a miserable existence that must be. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was like the final villain in the fucking uh, Chizo Mythos trilogy this. or quadrilogy or whatever that was. Pain element. It's like a series of adventure games. I saw it in like a, a banner ad. It showed a card of the pain elemental. Images. Oh, it's from Doom. What does it look like? It's like it looks like a beholder. Doom? No, that's not what it was. It was from a different. Yeah. It was probably from an obscure online game. Okay. Bubulk. Oh, oh, here's one, one for Magic Gathering. Did you change the timer? Oh, no, no, that's custom no. card. No. Never mind. Yeah, I'm only getting Doom. stuff from Doom on here. Huh. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, so they were... the explosion is twice as strong as the pink ones. Oh! Do not use bobbery on these fuckers. <laughs> you will die. Slow or you could set death. it off early with fire and explosions. Your call. Goombella, are you suicidal? Your call! <laughs> Stop! Get help! Alright, pain elemental. This is all I found as, is uh, the Doom things that look like beholders. Or apparently called Doom or uh, pain elementals. Hmm. I wanna. Oh, yeah, those things! I always thought they were just beholders. If I blew up this bomb, this would probably end our run right here and now. Well, so these fuckers, the white enemies, are probably the strongest enemy in the game. Oh. This is Elite Wizard. <laughs> Do not elite, try elite with skills. Me, Mr. Potter. I like how they named the white one Elite. <laughs> of course. This is the top of the heap for half machine organisms. <laughs> Booyah! Oh god. 12, 8, okay. So, defense of 5, that's a crazy high defense for an enemy that you can't flip over. Oh, and if it's all alone, it creates illusions of itself, so uh, don't let it be the last enemy surviving. Oh, it is Hong Kong knockoff Ice King. Holy crap, you're right. I just realized that similarity. What? That was yeah, weird. I just heard that. <laughs> An end so nice we heard it twice. What if the game just crashed? Oh god. That would suck! You... This is not an emulator, by the way. This is our actual physical I game. I don't know why it would crash. 
Because disc read error. Hello! Oh, uh, okay, I'm gonna tattle on you because I don't want you guys to attack or run. Prepare to level up, boys. This mystical daisy is like the rarest thing ever! Yeah! Look at how cute it is! Oh, attack is 20. It runs away almost immediately and it's almost impossible to beat. It has, yeah, attack power of 20. Don't fuck up! Oh boy. Yes! Okay. Hey! And watch them pile up, boys! Yes. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Make it rain! A hundred star points. Wow. We hit the cap. We missed out on star points because we're not high enough level to get the full amount. <laughs> Make it rain! Cover me, boys. And an Ultra Shroom. That's nice. Even though it's functionally identical to a regular Mushroom in our current state. That's what's also nice about Danger Mario. Regular, like, five-coin Mushrooms are the only healing item you ever need. If you get hit at... Wait, I just realized. Ever. Since you have Life what? Shrooms, if you die, it isn't the end. Oh, yeah, you're right. I, ah, I hate to. Steve, I forgot about I hate to kind well, way to ruin yeah, the tension kind of for the audience. <laughs> and all oh, the God. tension has dissolved. Wait, was that? Did it say Pity Flower? Home now, he wins. Uh, Spoiler. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, keep Simplifier. Okay, I know what we can do. I'm gonna put on, back on the uh, damage dodges. Oh, yeah, double pain. <laughs> We could die, we could end this run. Oh wait, no, we have like, five lives. We've got life insurance policies with four different companies. Look, I'm in, I put pain element, uh, elemental in like an image search and like, Boy, half this of would... it is doom stuff and the other half is like pictures of the spines and stuff. This would suck if I wasn't Danger Mario. The glassest of glass cannons. Sure. I mean, the cannonist of glass cannons as well. Yes. We're dealing... Another level up! We're dealing regular, art, like, square RPG numbers of damage in a game where the average enemy has, like, five hit points. Well, like, like beginning is square, game squared. Yeah. Game. Oh, hello, Jelly. Level one, level one Chrono could one-shot all these enemies. By the way, it, it took me until, like... A week ago to realize that this was a pun. Oh. Jam jelly. <laughs> Jam and Jam jelly. jelly. I always wondered, wow, that's a weird thing for them to call it. Is it just because that's the only alliterative thing they could come up with? Fair. No, it's a pun. Jam and jelly. I mean, J is the least alliterative letter. Level 95. The one could end if I... <laughs> Bonk! Jam and jelly. There's only, there's only, a, there's oh! only a couple J words. That, uh, that work as adjectives. Poor Yost. Jerk and jelly. Jiggle and jelly. Jerk. There aren't very many J words, and Yost doesn't even start with a J sound, so he's really oh, fucked. Yeah. He gets toast, though, so that's good. He gets yeah. the Yost toast. The Yost toast. We met, we met Yost. Oh. And Jasper. We went to sushi with them. Oh, uh, exciting. Mexican sushi. Mexican sushi. Mexican sushi? Yes, Mexican sushi. <laughs> what? It was very good, actually. Okay, ready to level up again? Okay, it probably won't be enough to level up, but it'll be a lot. We get close. So what, what do you think about them doing another design and not contest? They are. I'd be down. I know. Oh, I want in. I think they've le hopefully learned enough from the first two to, uh, not fuck up. Yeah, they, they kind of screwed up pretty bad with the X one. <laughs> but, uh... Like, hopefully they know to, uh, like, use the custom site and not Facebook votes. Yeah. Like, they did, th they had to resort to this time. Yeah, I understand why they did, because they wanted it to be as accessible as possible. 
Because they wanted to, yeah, as get to as many people. I think as right possible. now is a great time for it because you can be like, hey, check it out. Oh. This thing that you probably know about because it sold about half a bajillion copies is doing a big contest thing. And look, it's awesome now. I still find it funny that I forgot to X wasn't guys. anyone's first. It's a slam pie! X wasn't anyone's first nor second choice. <laughs> it was my second choice. No. My, my two were. It was a lot of tomfuckery with people rigging votes until. Something I, I guess it just ended. My two were Valentina and X, and then Owl Owl Twins. I was rooting for Valentina. Mm, same. I Valentina is the one I ultimately voted for. I thought they were all kind of somewhat bad. Wow. Whoops. It, That's rude. I we, actually uh, really like. We did uh, we did kind of get we did kind of get a Valentinish concept with Deadlift because her gimmick was the shield and being the first well, tank character. No, I, the things I liked about Valentina were. Uh, her spear and her like detonatable thing. Those are the two things. The shield was okay, but I remember. Yeah. I get actually thinking about it. The shield was like a charge move. That was more like a Lux's, wasn't it? Well, no. It was just like she put her shield in front of her, and it was an aimable thing that let her All block right. damage in an aimable. And then her other move was she threw a spear, and it stuck to terrain. And after a couple seconds, it exploded. So you had like this big stone. We're a superstar now, brother. <laughs> The Rock says. Wow! So, I was stupid because I listened to someone's advice, and rather than sending in my super cool character, I sent in my very complex character, and oh. I regret it. Cause, yeah. Because I was gonna send in this. Uh, it was this interesting. Like, um, she was this Native American, like alien woman who. Oh uh, was yeah. Support, and she. Uh, yeah. She had the boar, maps. right? Oh uh, yeah, she had the boar. Yeah, I remember that. You know who is my favorite fan character who I would have loved to see in the top competition but never made it? Was uh, Fortuna, the mask wrestler. I don't even think Iron Cannon Fodder was uh, around during the contest. I think he was out. I don't know if he I don't know if he was around. I mean she existed long oh, yeah. before then, but it was I don't it was like a, a Latina chick who had four arms. She was like an alien race. She was a masked wrestler, and she had a bunch of grappling. Yeah, moves. I thought, I thought That's she, so she, cool. well, she won the unofficial one, the unofficial contest. Yeah, I, th out, I think she uh, did, pedal. Yeah. I, got, I regret. I got third and fourth place in those unofficial yeah. tournaments. Okay, we're on floor Damn, 99, boys. I got boys. super close with pedal. Which I, and I, I got second place, or I had third place with Tinker in the first one, and like second place with pedal. I think your Tinker ended up beating mine or something, I forgot. Nope, yours beat mine by like one uh, vote. Uh, but we no. were head to head, I remember that. Oh, I guess you're not using fire drive. Uh, I'm gonna build for this boss. Okay. If I ever create a knot, then I'll probably create like a Japanese pro wrestler archetype. I mean, yeah, like those strong. That's an archetype we don't. We don't have like a Japanese knot. I don't think. No. I mean, Genji's the closest. Yeah, the closest we have is Genji. He's more Chinese though. Skin, but even, even though he has he a Japanese a name, bit. he's a lot more based on Chinese. I would yeah. even say just Tibet. Really, he's a Tibet. He's kind of like a Tibetan mm, monk. No, I think he falls more into like it's Chinese Houston. stuff. Yeah. I, uh, X is definitely Tibetan based in conceptually, personality wise, he's a lot more like a teenage environmentalist. Yeah, that's that's yeah. It's kind of odd. Eh, I, I it works. I'm I'm totally fine with it. A lot of people don't. So you get a pro. So you got a pro wrestler samurai character who's like an alien race who's all about honor, right? Okay. And uh, and he follows the code of Wrestle Shido. <laughs> Okay. All right. He always has to fight honorably. Well, and and he's not that gains more uh, like he gains more power if he's only if he's fighting more people. That'd be co kind of cool. Well, my uh, the concept between the character I wanted to put in, like the one with the boy, was she was a support in the t uh, terms that she gives vision all across the map. But I don't know how important that really is in knots. It's not really. Just everything's so fast. Yeah. It's just like wandering around looking for fights mostly. Again, Mario Street, we're not talking about Mario. Yeah, we're just on rants about Awesome Knots characters. So floor ninety nine, guys. Wow, this is high. This is very exciting. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hit one hundred. Let's find out what's what, at the bottom what? of the pit of a hundred right, trials. Lose? It's Tubba Blubba's heart. Could you possibly lose? You guys ready? He could lose at any yeah, minute. Yeah, it's gonna be here. Tubba's heart. Five eight. This is where all the Paper Mario One party members are hiding. <laughs> They're just at the bottom of the pit. Mario, I missed you, little buddy. Oh, oh, 
It's a it's dragon! It's a skeleton! Cooper, you look different! <laughs> Did you get a haircut? It's a big Draco lich. I like kind it. of odd, there's no dialogue or anything. He's just gonna hear. No, because it's a fucking ske- Oh, there it is. Oh, oh no, there's some dialogue! Arroo. Arroo. Werewolves Nixon? I am not a crook! Arroo. Wow. Jeez. Oh, that's all Goombella has to say. What a freak. Ow. Oh, and I start the match dodgy. That's nice. Just dodgiest of dodgy. I'm gonna get hit. Okay, he's gonna attack once, and I'm gonna get like the 0.1% chance he hits me. I'm gonna get one shot, and that'll be it. No, we got life shrooms. Yeah. He's the oldest brother of Hooktail. So old, he's just bones, in fact. Wow, now that's old. That sounds kind of useless. <laughs> Max HP is 200, the most in the game. Attack is 8, defense is 2. So, four hits. He has various breaths that might confuse us or put us to sleep. Now, so, just weird effects. Is he stronger than the final boss? I, I don't want to spoil. Well, pe people know. When his HP gets low, he'll recover or reanimate, as the case may be. I don't know. Is he fine? Is he stronger than. He's probably oh. stronger than the last boss! <laughs> Seriously! <laughs> Let's do oh. this. So, this is the game's super secret. This is the secret optional All boss. Right. That was perfect timing. <laughs> I will say that about Paint Mario 1, it had more optional bosses, like Kent C. Koopa and the like. Kent C. Koopa is pretty hard. Our you're gonna, strike. All, you're gonna go all out? Yeah. Whoop. Oh, not quite. If that I kept half. if I kept going, I could have one shot at him. Do we waste a life shroom? Nope, Goombella tanks the hit. <laughs> Good job, Goombella. Thank you, small dwarfish college girl, for protecting the my large Mario. masculine <laughs> self. This only attack he got off was you just really swiping! <laughs> I don't know about you guys, I was shitting my pants through half of that. <laughs> dead. How do you kill what is already dead? With Danger Mario. What? Boy! How do you kill that which has no what life? What a slap in the face. How do you kill it? Use more guns. More Daka. All right. Oh. Oh. oh yeah. reward, Sleep honestly. If, hey, it's a treasure. You block it. Chest. You've saved the boss. He's he's still twitching. Just grab the treasure and run. Just don't believe it. <laughs> ow! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the, this dragon only got off one attack. Poor guy. Not that great, but you know it's something. That's going to be completely <laughs> useless for you. Yes, it's useless for me because no one ever hits me. <laughs> You're a tanky character. Yeah. Of sorts. I'm I max I min maxed luck. I'm like that robot in Sonic X. God, lucky the bell with like a four leaf clover, a horseshoe, the number seven, angel wings, rabbit feet. What are you doing to this poor dragon? <laughs> you know what's important to check, Luigi, is your prostate. <laughs> Okay, so that was the pit of a hundred trials. That was fairly easy. And the game crashes. <laughs> Before we got to a save block. Now that would suck. So can you uh, go back to the pit of a hundred right, trials and re-challenge it, or... How can what? you re-challenge the pit of a hundred trials, or...? You can, and you get- I've done it before. That's how I grind star points on my bat on my account that is, uh... so high that I only get one point from everything but Amazy Daisies. You get to the bottom and it's just an empty I love room. The music it, of this I game. guess Bone Tail decomposed. You killed him and then his. his oh, I just actions. realized you Wait. left Frankly here waiting for you to get to the next level. While well, I did the pit of a hundred trials, yeah, he was just hanging out here. Sorry, Frankly, I gotta kill a zombie dragon. I'll be right back. What are you doing and why did it take so long? All right, so I get. We'll just we'll fix the badges next time. Was... So that was the Pit of 100 Trials. I guess we're, we're done. We're gonna come back next time and finish the game. Finish the game. Exciting. The last boss is pretty so, good. Uh, thanks for joining us in this impromptu special guest episode, guys. Yeah. Cape Mario yeah, Party. Some more. Yeah. We just do single player games with extra commentators. Yeah. Oh, that was, that was fun. Of. Games I, I'm interested well, uh... in can actually discuss, I would join. Yeah. I will. I would do that as well. I was a little bit bored for the first half, but... Oh, you totally get people on for my Illusion of Guys stream. Get Gleam in when we do Pokemon again.
<laughs> All right. Thanks for thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next Bye. time. Take care.